We live at the moment of great change. It's as a seismic change as significant as the shift from the agricultural to the industrial era. We live at the moment where our economy is shifting from the industrial to a knowledge era. And one of the biggest um, symptoms of this is that so much of uh, value and performance and competitive advantage in our, in our companies and in our economies has, has become intangible. And yet our, our measurement systems, our management systems, our ways of thinking were really optimized for tangibles in the industrial era. And so we tend to think that the knowledge and the infrastructure that has built up in the last decades is unknowable and really unmeasurable and, and you know, we don't really know how to apply it in, in our work. And that's why I'm, I'm really excited to be here today at the conference board because they have uh, been leaders really globally in, in studying from a macroeconomic uh, level how there have been fundamental shifts in, in investment that have created a, a kind of infrastructure, an intangible capital infrastructure that most of us still can't see and yet is, is, is becoming a bigger and bigger issue in business. So uh, the data from the conference board shows that starting after World War II up till the present day, there's been a steady increase year after year in intangible um, investment in things like R&D and uh, competencies of people and branding and processes and knowledge and um, uh, software, um, all, the, all the tools and, and manifestations of, of the growing knowledge portion of our economy. And what's happened is that because of accounting conventions and the way that we look at, at, at businesses, we're not capturing the net effect of that investment and it's not getting inside of our heads as, as the, uh, the critical business asset that it is. So the symptoms you see of this are um, in the stock market, there's a, an 80% gap between the balance sheet value of tangible assets and the um, corporate value of the, the, the full value of a corporation on the, on the stock market. Um, when, when one company buys another, uh, there's a little bit more information. Some of the, uh, the money gets uh, applied to, in to intangibles that get put on the balance sheet. But in, in most mergers, there's about a 50%, it's actually 47%, but you know, roughly half of the value gets booked to goodwill. So we have this enormous intangibles information gap. And that gap needs to be filled in if we want to understand what's driving performance, what's driving value, what's driving future innovation, what's really driving the competitive advantage and the competitive um, ability and sustainability of our organizations today. So that's, that's the challenge and, and really the opportunity of the intangibles era.